Hey, hi, hello everyone. Welcome to TitleH.com. And guys, today I will be showing you how to set up the newsletter system that is available for free download on my website. So what I have is here is a copy of the zip files that you can actually download from my website. So I'm just going to you know, cut it from here and I'm going to paste it to my server folder. And here I'm going to extract all the files. Okay, and guys, once it, it would be done, you won't have to do anything. You just need to do one thing, is go ahead and open the actual files in your browser. So I'm going to say, you know, my local uh, path, and I'm going to say Pro Newsletter. And once it's done, it's going to redirect me towards the installation file. The very first thing it's going to ask you is for the database name, like which particular database name you want to use in order to set up everything. So for me, I'm going to say a pro newsletter because I already have one database set up with newsletter. So I, just want, I don't want to disturb that one. And I'm going to say root. I do not have any password for my local server, but if you have, you can surely go ahead and uh, put it there. And the uh, database host is going to be localhost. Then guys, these three fields are actually required to send emails from your server. So if you are sure about your outgoing server, your SMTP username and password, you can surely go ahead and, and insert it there. Otherwise, you can leave them to null. Uh, the script automatically gonna detect it for you. So I'm gonna leave them to null. And very first, I need to set up this database as well. So what I'm gonna do is, uh, I'm gonna copy it from here, and I'm gonna paste it here. Uh, once it's done, I'm gonna go back, and I'm gonna hit generate. Now let's see what happens. Oh, that's a, uh, Awesome, and uh, here it says the username gonna be the Triple H and the password gonna be same. So I actually gonna copy it. Go ahead and log into your dashboard. Uh, copy. Probably I have an extra space. So right now I'm logged in here. Uh, next thing I can do is you know I can create newsletters. I can view newsletters. You can create different campaigns. You can add and you can view members out here. You know you can add new members or if you want, you can view new members out here. Uh, you can search them with their, you know, initial letters, or you can search uh, with their email and their name, and you can set up groups. Guys, by default, I have set one group, that's a default newsletter, okay? So if you want, you can use it, and if you want, you can, you know, create a different one. And here is a setting tab that you can go ahead and you can set your, you know, all settings from here. You can set up the bounce email, like from, uh, if any email has been bounced, uh, if you want to know about it, you can just enter your email and you're going to get an email regarding that. Then the default template going to be a plain newsletter. I'm going to discuss about it later. Uh, very first, uh, you can insert your email, like from which particular email you want to send the mails, your company name, your password and username, some default settings. And guys, here are three awesome forms. One is going to be a subscribe form one gonna be an update subscription and one gonna be an unsubscribe one you don't have to do anything just go ahead and copy this chunk of code into your file everything gonna be set up for you but and if you want to know how they actually look you can click these little links out here and this is how a subscribe form look uh, this is how an update subscription form look a user can actually you know enter their email and then they can you know manage a subscription according to them and the very last one is an unsubscribed one. So they all, you know, look similar to each other. And in order to get the same form on your website, go ahead and copy this entire code and paste it to any normal PHP file. Believe me, it's gonna work for you. And that's all in the settings tab. And if you will go to the newsletter, guys, you can, you know, ah, the menu sucks. I I'm gonna fix it later, don't worry. Uh, guys, here are the three default templates that you can use, okay? So the very first one by default is a plain newsletter. And if you will see out here on the bottom, you actually, you know, have a visual builder where you can go ahead and you can edit everything. So, you know, if I want, I can actually change this particular image. Uh, I can say change it to change with this one. And let's say insert image. And you guys can actually see, you know, my images out here. And if you want, you can open the preview, how it look in a browser. So I'm going to do it right now. Uh, this is how it looks in a browser. And this is how it's going to look in an email. Okay. So that's, that's pretty nice, right? Uh, let's go back to the newsletter system. And you can see the settings are still same. 
Uh, if you want, you can send yourself a preview email. You know, you can actually check out whether it's up to the mark you want it. And you guys, the unsubscribe link will not work uh, with a preview email. So if you if you will try to click that, that that's not gonna work. You need to send you an actual newsletter email. Uh, guys, if you want to build your own templates for the newsletter, so these are the three by default. If you want to build your own, you can do it quite easy. What you need to do is go to Pro Newsletter, go to Templates, and create a new folder. The folder name is going to be your template name. So if you will notice, I have a plain newsletter and I have a plain newsletter error. So I'm going to open it. And guys, you need two files. The very first one is going to be an inside.html file. This is the file that this particular, uh, you know, I would say editor will render. And template.html is the actual file that I'm going to use in order to send the emails. So if I'll give you a very brief demo out here, I'm going to open it here with my text editor. So out here, you can create your entire, you know, newsletter template with all CSS and stuff. Once you are done, go ahead, uh, create one more file with the name template.html. Okay, you know, copy the entire markup till the body tags. Uh, let me come to the bottom. Let me show you how much you need to insert. Just copy everything from the inside.html file and, you know, put it uh, till, till the body tags. Then for the email body, you can say, you know, up to some curly braces and email body. That's it. Put it here, close it, and you are done with your new template. So you need to create two files, one with the entire template markup, the other one just up to the body tags, and then, you know, put this uh, PHP variable email body, close it, you are done, okay? One more thing I wanna share is, guys, uh, every time you're gonna edit a newsletter, you're gonna find two very useful variables. The one gonna be on the top where it says, dear first name, do not remove it. If you're gonna remove it, the person you're gonna send the newsletter will not get a greeting with it, with you know his or her name. So leave it the way it is. If you want, you can change the styling, you know, you can put it, uh, you can give it uh, some bold tags if you want. You can change the deer to welcome or whatever you know funny stuff you want to do. And the very important one uh, is out here on the bottom. One says from email. The other one says to email. And the very last one here, it says send date and an unsubscribe one. So do not play with them. Otherwise, you're going to mess up with a lot of things. And if you are very good with PHP, you know, go ahead and you know check out these three default templates. Try to see how they are built. And then you can build your fourth one. And yeah, out here, you can, you know, save newsletters, then you can send them. And guys, that's all with this particular newsletter. And if you like it, please go ahead and subscribe to my website because every time it's not possible to go ahead and inform you on YouTube. So, you know, just to keep it simple, go ahead, open my website. You're gonna find a subscription form. Subscribe there and keep downloading these awesome scripts. I'm gonna see you guys next time. Goodbye.